Hey everybody, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back. Let's replay Lunar 2 Eternal Complete. Now we can finally head off to Pentagulia. We saved Azado from the Flame Fang. Everyone's still in captivity here, but we know the truth now, so we're all good to go. So, yeah, you know, do your little goody two shoes thing and free your comrades and all that. Okay, Mr. Snappy Pants. Oh, whoa, don't. Do anything hasty. Something that you might regret. No! What? Say what now? Um. Yeah. So isn't it kind of your duty to, you know, follow her orders? Wow. Well, well, brother. What? It appears you've become soft in your old age. What? I just said that. Oh. Alfina gave a direct order to desert, to desert, to des to des to Lucia, and for that unknown, was weird. I apologize for that. Chosen to ignore it. I guess it's up to me now. Bend to executioner, Lucia. The game is up. What do you mean, game? We're still on disc one. Uh oh. She meant something else. Hold on, I need a Kleenex again. Why is it that like every single episode lately I've had to grab a Kleenex mid-recording? I really shouldn't do that. I really shouldn't. Yeah, it's only been like what a year, I think, since we last saw each other. All right, no, that was, no, that was when she was last here. That was like forever ago, I think. Anyway. Um, shouldn't we be putting out these fires or something? They're probably damaging the ship, at least a little bit. Aw, oh, you don't mean that, do you? <laughs> that's that's one way to put how she's acting right now. Ooh, oh no, he didn't. Oh no, yeah, by, yeah they're, by the way, they're brother and sister. He kind of has a point there, actually. So he's doing good by doing bad by Althena, but the better good by helping us? <laughs> the better good, yeah. Again, guys, I speak great English. I'm sure he knew that already, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, by defying the goddess, he's helping us. So we'll take it. And oh my god, he actually called her by her name. I'm pretty sure that's the first. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, I, I think Leo's going through some pretty heavy stuff right now. I wouldn't really bother him right now. Yeah. I say this, let him go eat some ice cream, watch some, watch a movie, you know, something like that. Maybe watch, um, oh, I, what's a good cheer-up movie? Air Bud? I, I just... that came out of nowhere. I mean, that could probably work as a cheer-up movie. Anyway... Yeah, I really wouldn't know what to say either. Your tale of woe. We kinda already did actually, remember? You were here with us? Like, a long time ago? Like... Uh, ten hours ago in in game time. Uh huh. And yet you're still just here doing nothing. <sighs> yeah, you're telling him. No, you're not a pain in the butt. You're a gigantic pain in the ass, which is the same thing, just a upgrade. Yeah, moral support. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh? Oh, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, no one was come to think of it. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good one, hero. Yeah, she doesn't quite seem herself. I'm sure Ron Ford knows that more than anyone. 
What? You... you didn't really want to do that. Not in the way you're thinking of, anyway. Oh, we can actually talk to Leo. I thought the door would be locked, actually. It was earlier, when we were first here. Yeah, something crazy must have happened ever so long ago. Oh. Well, we'll have to, uh, remind her of that little tidbit of information. Speaking of which, where is she, anyway? Um, I think this way I wanted you? Um, well, there's more soldiers to talk to, so let's chat them up first. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the, uh, advice there. Oh, this brings us down to the, uh, dungeon. Yeah, we don't need to go here. We were there earlier. Remember, with the whole freeing Lucia, then trapping Leo in there, and escaping, and laughing at him, and throwing water balloons at him? Well, not that last part, but everything else we did. He's not worthy. He's not worth. Uh, ill. Gross. Did not need to know that. Seems like a really, really big shift for just a handful of people. I mean, there's bedrooms everywhere. And so far we've seen, like, what, a handful of soldiers in Leo. That's pretty much it. So, at least it's roomy. So, there's that. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's where a lot of the soldiers are. Of course, in the cafeteria. Oh, and there's Lucia. She's kind of a thing. Oh? How? She's, like, a foot away from you. Oh, yeah, her mission's almost complete, actually. Yeah, that's kind of important. I don't really think she would want to do that. I mean, why would she, the goddess, want to destroy a town? For no reason whatsoever. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're definitely chosen material there, buddy. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh. Well, then that's good. You guys are actually doing your job decently, amazingly enough. Oh, wait, one more soldier over here. Yeah, I'm feeling chatty today, so... I mean, I kind of have to be chatty anyway. I mean, I am at work all the time. That's really what my job is. What it boils down to is just me standing there and talking to people. That's literally it. And then exchanging money in paper. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's so much fun, really. Except when the people that I work with are assholes. Not the, uh, not the employees, the uh, customers. Because a lot of them are dicks. We'll just throw it out there. But, I mean, working in a grocery store, you'll have that. Anywhere. Doesn't matter, so... Oh? She was just playing with the pigeons. And by pigeons, I mean seagulls. Oh? Uh... Uh-huh. Uh... Huh. I I think Hero might have some underlying issues he might want to deal with. I'm not sure the World of Lunar has any uh, psychiatrists or anything, so... He's kind of out of luck if he wants to do anything with that. I don't know. Oh, he was fibbing! Oh, I, I get it. <laughs> I was just playing a lot, by the way. Water is really shiny. We're almost to Pentagulia, Lucia. After everything we've been through, the end is finally in sight. Once we're there, you can meet with the goddess Althena, and your mission will be complete. But why do you seem so sad? This is what you've wanted all along. You should be happy. You don't understand anything. Uh-huh. Hero, you don't even have a glimpse of what's really at stake here. But, Lucia... I came from the Blue Star to find Althena. That's my only mission. Sofar must not be allowed to return to full power. 
His evil will destroy this world. We must find a way to prevent his return. Even if it... No. I came to this world to stop so far from reviving at any cost. Hero, the only hope for blocking his power at this point is to seek help from Althena. Once that is accomplished, my mission here will finally be complete. Then, won't everything be okay? But... but then... Lucia? This is all so confusing. I can't stop thinking about what will happen if... Oh, what's happening to me? Why does my heart feel so heavy and my mind spin with possibilities? Why can't I accomplish the tasks I've set out to do? Lucia, I just... I... I don't understand. Oh, hero! You can't possibly understand! Just leave me alone! <laughs> I think Hero just struck out. Yeah. Well. I mean, what's... There's more going on here than what it seems. I won't... Don't really want to spoil it for right now. But it, on the surface, it seems like we go to Pentadulia, we see Althena, mission complete, so far stopped. In a nutshell. That's Hero's line of thought anyway. But, Lucia was saying what will happen if, 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 so on and so forth. And so on and so forth, and yada, yada, yada. So there we go. Yeah, we'll delve more into that subject later on. Whoa! Hero, look! Is that Penagulia? It's gotta be, Ruby. I've heard tales about Penagulia, but I never imagined it would be so, so unreal. Never imagined to be so so. Yeah, that's that's the uh, emulator glitching out, by the way. Also, holy shit, biscuits! And that's where we'll be exploring. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. There we go. On disc two of Let's Replay Lunar Two Eternal Complete. This has been Iron Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.